up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rochelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are the bomb.com. Now, in today's video, I am back to share an expense cash out. I am going to be pulling cash from my cash envelopes and my sinking funds to cover electronic spending that I've done in the month of October. This is how I try not to create new debt by being responsible with my spending and going back and tracking my expenses over time and zeroing those things out. So if that's something you wanna see, then stick around. Okay, so inside of my planner, you can find on RochelleAdamson.com, I have my expenses listed. I even have a few listed for the month of November so I can prepare and get ready. But I'm gonna move that to the side because we're basically doing a cash unstuffing, which is my favorite part. So first up, I need to pay for some expenses related to my businesses. So we're gonna pull out my sister locks cash envelopes, which are these right here. So I purchased um, some supplies for my sister locks business that came to a total of $8.50. And so I have $15, so I'll go ahead and just pull 10. That leaves me with five. Then I had to um, pay for a registration fee. And so that came to about $24.37. So we will pull from fees. We'll do $25. That leaves me with 25. Now I'm gonna switch over to my business cash envelopes for RochelleAdamson.com and YouTube and my virtual assistant work. And so I need to cover a bill. I realized that I have a subscription head, a subscription for a Dubsado. And I, it's something that I don't even use. It came to $22. So we need to cover that. Okay. Bills. I'll take $25. That leaves me with $20, $40, 45 I know that math is off, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. And I'm just checking off my expenses as I go to make sure I don't skip any. Then I need to head over to my shipping. Here it is. And so I paid for some shipping supplies and I like to just cover it. It came to about $50. So I have 50, 70, 90. I'll take the 50 and I have $40 left. So minus 50 leaves 40. And then it is definitely time for me to pull money from my taxes because this thing is thick with a QUE. So I have 2000 in the bank and then I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800. I'll leave that out to the side. This is 800. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So this is $1,000 right here. And then I should be able to keep the rest of these. Yeah. So to make it easier, let me just make sure I give myself some high bills. So this is what we have left. 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'll swap that out. I want to keep the larger bills. And then 20, 50, 70, 80. Okay, that's not $100, but it's okay. We'll have 150, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Oh, and I need to give myself a new 1K slip. Okay, I'm gonna swap out these two for my pink ones that pink made for me. So that's 3,000 now. And this should be the 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 
700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 920, 940, 960, 980, 1,000. So this is the 1,000 that we're going to deposit in the bank. And this is all thanks to you guys for supporting my business. I appreciate you so much. So I'm just trying to be responsible with it. So now we have 3,000 in the bank and 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 189. So 3,189 dollars. If we did that right, let's see, 3,189 dollars. Perfect. Got it right on the first try. What? Okay, so that's done. Now let's move over to my travel sinking funds. And what I did here is, this isn't really an expense cash out, but I want to have the right denominations because travel is coming up soon. So let's count that. I pulled all the money from all of my envelopes in here and I just want to count and see how much we have. Oh, why did I have it facing this way? What? because I want to set a goal. I want at least 750 to take with us next month. Of course, I would love it if it's more, but I want at least $750. I usually aim for a thousand because I like nice round numbers, but honestly, I'm a little behind on adding to this travel and everything is pretty much already paid for with the exception of tips and just any other costs that come along. So it shouldn't be bad. And our food is included for, I would say, two thirds of our trip. We've already have like an inclusive package, so we don't have to cover a lot of food. But we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. We'll do 350, 360, 370, 380. 385, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Okay, so I know I want to put all these ones and fives into tips. I'll even do the 10 also. Small bills, small bills. Cannot believe it's almost time to travel. I am so excited. And now that we live in Hawaii, we don't travel as often. And that's honestly like the hardest part of living here. Um, so we get really excited when it's time to leave. We enjoy our time here on the islands, but it's just harder. Um, so this is a business trip, like a good portion. We will be doing a lot of business. So I want to make sure I put at least $70 here. So 70 cover any business lunches or whatever. Then eating out should get $100. So I'm thinking I want to do some fifties. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I just thought this was the perfect time to be able to do this and get the denominations I want. And then let's see what else, what else? I have it written down for the ones I really care about. We did tips, airports. Airports needs to get $60. So we'll just do some 20s. Gas is going to get $20. I just kind of went over our itinerary and I'm like, we'll probably be splitting gas with friends and family. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about that, but we will keep adding to it. Gifts will get, actually I'm going to leave gifts alone because I'm going to pay for souvenirs that I'm going to take with me out of my own personal spending. So I'll worry about that next cash stuffing. And then vacay is getting 50. So, hmm, let me change for a 20. Okay, that's 20. And then I'll do 50, yeah. 20, 40, 50. I would actually like to do larger bills. So let me put all that back, scratch that. Yeah, because this is gonna help cover any um, of our hotel stays that we haven't paid for yet. We have one that we have to pay for, for like one or two nights. 
and then I still have money left. I still have $50 left. And so we are going to put that in these, my location-based envelopes, Texas, Mexico, and travel. So between those, let's put, we'll spend the longest in Mexico. This is going to be, I'm going on a cruise, so we'll put the 20 here. So these will be the envelopes we add to vigorously in the next few weeks. And then Texas is just a layover. But I will see family, so I'll probably end up putting more money in this one too. It'll get the other 10. Alrighty, and now I have the right denominations in the right categories that I care about the most for this trip. So that is travel. Check that off. Okay, now let's go to my regular sinking funds. I need to cover some spending. The first get category is H and H. So that would be house and hygiene. I had to buy some household items. It came to about $25. So we have 20, 40, 65. I'll take the 25 and that leaves me with 40. Oh, I had 65, so plus five is 65, minus 25 leaves 40. It's crazy how I never have $10 bills. It actually eats away at my soul a little bit because I like having all the denominations, but it is what it is. Okay, and we'll come back to this. I think I do have to pull from this, but before I forget, let me pull from my wallet. Okay, so I went and got my nails done yesterday and petties and all that. And it actually came to about $134 because I we got Eva's feet done too. Homegirl got gel polish and everything. So now we're going to have to work through that. So let's see if I have any money that I could contribute. I like, you know what? I'm not gonna take anything else from my wallet because that's the money for one to go when I'm when I really need it, but Let's see, beauty, we can pull from here. There we go, we'll take 40 from here. That leaves me with 70. So minus 40 is 50 really, but then I had 70, so we'll add 20. Man, I gotta remember to update my trackers. <laughs> Okay, so 140, and let me write a note that I did 140 instead of 134. Check that off. And then I want to cover some spending on charging tests. So that came to about $28. So I'm gonna start contributing to this category more to help cover our charging. So we'll just do $30. Yeah, we'll do $30. So minus 30 leaves, should leave 390. Yay, a $10 bill. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 390. We are just coming in correct this month. Okay, so let's mark that off. And then I bought a fan and technically that needs to come from my business, it, any of them, because it's to cover, we work from home. And so Eva started her shea business back up and I also work from home. So, hmm, what should we take it from? I, it came to $61. And honestly, that is a lot of shamane. So I could take it from here or I could take it from my business wallet. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take a little from each, but that's hard at tax time. We are going for easy. I can tell you right now, it's probably gonna come from my, nah, I'm not taking it from my income. No, no, I'm not doing that. Shipping, products, spend, office, equipment. Hmm. 
Okay, you know what? We will take a little from each to cover it because a couple businesses. So there's 25, so that'll leave me with 20. So minus 25 leaves me with 20. And then my business, supplies and equipment, I think it was like $5 left in there. I think I'm done paying for fees for the year for Sister Lock, so I'll take this other 25 out. How much does that leave me? 20, 40, 55. And hmm, how much income do I have? 55. All right, we'll do 65. 20, 40, 20, 40. 50, 65, okay, yes. We'll do that, I'm not mad at that. Trying not to use like the air conditioner because the electric bills are so cray cray. Okay, so I can check that off and then I need to cover some spending. Okay, see, I went and got some a new face, uh, face care regimen, new skincare, and it came to $49. Okay, so that is easy. That's gonna come out of my income, my business income. So $49, 20, 40, we'll just do 50. That leaves me with 100. So we'll just say we took 70, because my tracker was off. I'm telling you guys, it's painful but necessary. Going back and covering your spending for the month is where it's at. Okay, so I can check off that expense and that is it. That is enough, right? Okay, so E, can I hold your phone? I need a calculator. Okay, so <laughs> using her iPad. First, I want to add up all my expenses. And so I know at least I have enough to cover those. So 8.5 plus... 24.37 plus 22 plus 50 plus 1,000 plus 25 plus 134 plus 28 plus 61 plus 49. So if I did this right, I should have at least $1,401. Well, we'll just say $1,402. So moment of truth. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Plus 50, 100. Plus... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 620, 40, 60. So 660 plus 10 plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 equals $1,420. So we did it, y'all, with a little extra. I love it. So all of this money is going back into the bank to cover our spending for the month of October. And we're making a $1,000 deposit into our taxes sinking fund for my business, RochelleAdamson.com. Thank you guys for supporting. Come on. I mean, honestly, I feel like my spending is down because technically I only had like $400 of spending, but I covered it, y'all. I covered it with my cash. So I got this idea from Sanai here on YouTube. So Crafty Sanai. So definitely check out her channel. I just... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, you know what it is. Peace, love, and budgets.